Oh my goodness! I found it! Okay, it's the M6500 firmware version 2. I can see. Okay, so for the M6500 uh, version 2, uh, there is several major upgrades. So let us go through one by one. First, okay, streaming. The streaming now before you only have like the use use stream, but now you have YouTube and also Facebook, which is much more popular. So for the setup, you can actually go to the virtual machine. Okay, so and then okay, you can go to streaming and then you can set all your setting in there and then. Once you set it up and then you go to type that and then you can record a live stream immediately, which is pretty convenient. And then that is the streaming. For the recording, now, okay, other than the AV6D, you can also record onto XAVCS. But remember, if you're using the XAVCS, and then remember to use the XDXC card UHS free. Because otherwise, when you put on like maybe the lower level card, and then they will it will tell you that it's not allow you to record, so which is uh, a bit of hassle. So that will be the recording. And then the other thing is logo. So now the logo is activated now. So you can now record, you can now uh, save two logos. But remember, first, okay, they can only accept PNG files. And also, you, can, you need to set the PNG file into logo one and logo two. The name is logo one and logo two. So then once you do that, and then you can actually like straightly re uh, save it into your SD card, and then you can actually uh, import straight from the M6500. Other than that, okay, you can also reposition the, um, the logo. For example, you, you can go to the virtual machine, go to logo, and then you can actually reposition like maybe uh, your logo's uh, positions, which is quite convenient, and then much easier to use it too. Okay, so that is the logo. Title, okay. Title now, okay. We all know that, like, because like the limitations of the machine, and then it used the VGA. Uh, but the VGA sometimes we put onto the machine, and then most likely the logo, uh, the the uh, the title will be always pop on the middle, which is like this, which is unusable. But now, okay, you can the version two point zero, you can actually repositions the title positions now. So which I can actually repositions what I need, which is make it much easier. Just right now, just like that. So that will be the title. So other than that, okay, there will be two more uh, major upgrade. So one of them is the menu transist. So what is a menu transist? So you know that before the um, menu transist is launched, all the effect you can only like do the auto transist and then it's a start to the end. But how about like I want to do the uh, transition in between? So you need a menu transist, for example, like now, okay, I can actually open up, stop it, and then like this, and then, okay, I can keep using the auto transist and then to continue my shots. And also, they have put on more patterns and the effect onto the version 2.0, which you can import it into, uh, into your uh, into a hardware M6500, which is quite good. And uh, the last major upgrade will be the chroma key. So uh, we all know that like the chroma key before the version one is um, auto setting only. So if you can't find the, uh, the perfect lighting source and then you might find out it's quite hard to find the, uh, uh, to get a, a clear, uh, nice chroma key. But now, if you can't find it, you can actually manually set it. So how do I do it? Okay, so go to, uh, I already set to chroma key. So you go to the uh, pattern, and then you will see uh, next to the chroma key, you can see the key adjustment. And the key adjustment is not only auto only. You can see there is a lot of like menu setup on it. So you can actually fine tune your uh, chroma key. So that will be the, uh, the major upgrade for the version 2.0. So I can say the M6500 now is a fully functions uh, multi-use uh, live like maybe a um, uh, visual mixer. You can record it, you can record, you can live stream, you can, uh, you can visual mixer it, and then it's small size, easy to use. So if you want to know more about like this M6500, please visit ANS website. And also, if you, don't, if you don't know about like the basic functions for the M6500, you can also visit our YouTube website for the previous review.